Aadmi Party is in a drunken stupor of a power ever since winning Punjab. For years, Arvind Kejriwal demanded the Delhi police be brought under his government's jurisdiction. The rationale was given that it will help the government better handle the law and order situation in the UT. However, if the Punjab experiment is anything to go by, we know now why Kejriwal wanted the reins of the state police. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Tanya and in this video, I will explain how the arrest of Tajinder Pal Singh Bagga shows why Kejriwal needed the police force. Let's begin. Now using Punjab police, he has come after the central leadership of the BJP. Reportedly, Tajinder Pal Singh Bagga, National Secretary of BJP's Youth Wing on Friday morning was arrested by Punjab police from his house in Delhi. Initial reports indicate that 50 policemen in 10 to 12 cars came to arrest Tajinder Bagga from his residence while he had not worn his turban. Moreover, the Punjab police manhandled Bagga's family, including his old father. Preet Pal Singh Bagga, Tajinder's father, was quoted as saying, 10 to 15 men from the Punjab police barged into my home. They punched me in the face when I tried to film a video. They sat me down by force and took my phone. Tajinder asked for a cloth to cover his head. At 8.30 a.m., they caught hold of Tajinder and dragged him outside. We were not informed why he was being taken into custody. No reason whatsoever was given. Quoted as saying by ANI, Punjab police remarked that Bagga was arrested because he did not join the probe over a case filed against him in the state. The accused was served five notices to come and join the investigation. The notices were duly served upon. In spite of that, the accused deliberately did not join the probe. This morning, following due process of law, Tajinder Pal Singh Bagga was arrested from his home in Delhi. Reportedly, Punjab police in March had registered an FIR against Bagga for his criticism of Arvind K. Jival after the Delhi CM mocked the Kashmir Files movie during the budget session of the Delhi Assembly, calling it a jhuti film. Before the arrest today, Punjab police on April 2 had also reached Bagga's house and attempted to kidnap him. However, it could not be successful and planned a second outing. Meanwhile, after not acting during the arrest, the Delhi police rather reluctantly filed a kidnapping case against the Punjab police. While the Punjab police convoy was rushing through Haryana to reach Punjab, the Haryana police stepped in at Kulukshetra and stopped the Punjab police using its quick response team QRT. Haryana Home Minister Anil Vij stated that the Delhi police had informed the state government about the kidnapping of the BJP leader. He also said that the Haryana government will hand Bagga over to the Delhi police. We got information from the Delhi police about a kidnapping. We are not acting as a hurdle. We will produce him to the police station which registered the kidnapping matter. We have information that Bagga was kidnapped and there were many other cars following him. We will hand over Bagga to Janakpuri SHO. We will take him to Delhi. We will review Punjab police claims also. Kejriwal and his politics is an amalgamation of different political leaders. He can use soft Hindutva through reciting Hanuman Chalisa and visiting mandirs to counter BJP and similarly use minority appeasement tactics to woo the Muslims. There is no clear principle attached to Kejriwal or his party. However, he also learns from the likes of Mamta Banerjee and left parties on how to quash the opposition. Learning from Mamta's reign of fear, Kejriwal is emulating a similar ploy in Punjab and the neighbouring state of Delhi. He wants to join the big leagues by creating an atmosphere of fear in the hearts of his detractors. Kejriwal wants to present himself as a masochist leader who cannot be criticised. The power has truly corrupted him. The mingling with Khalistan leaders and the prospect of being half Sium of Punjab alongside an inebriated Bhagwant Man has given him the aura of invincibility. With BJP's central cadre acting like wet lamb whenever its workers are killed or tortured, whether it be in West Bengal or Delhi, the opposition and specifically AAP is going for the kill by pinning it under its thumbs. We saw the same happen in West Bengal where BJP workers were slaughtered left, right and centre and we are seeing eerily similar signs emerging from Punjab. 
Delhi police with the help of Haryana government has been successful in getting Bagga released. Now that Bagga has been released, Kejriwal's plan to make an example out of him has been ruined. If Bagga had not been released, it would have been another failure on the part of the BJP which subsequently would have bolstered up and its megalomaniac leader's confidence. Bagga is one of the rare breeds of politicians who does not shy away from taking on the opposition. He has been an active leader in the social media sphere who also takes to the streets to corner the likes of Kejriwal. The AAP leader has been on the prowl to arrest him for a long time but never had the resources in his hand. However, as soon as he got the handle of the Punjab police, he used it to full effect. But with the Delhi police finally taking cognizance of the matter, egoistic Kejriwal's plan to use Punjab police as his own personal militia in this have been foiled.